Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the newest releases from Paco Rabanne called Invictus Platinum. Invictus is a very popular line from uh, Paco Rabanne as you well know. Um, everywhere you look on YouTube, on forums and so on, there is the Invictus Aqua 2008, if I'm not mistaken, which is regarded as being uh, one of very beautiful scent from um, Paco Rabanne. And since then um, they have this normal Invictus and now they have the Invictus Platinum. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this new flanker from Invictus, then please stay tuned. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. I have here a sample which I got thanks to, a, let's say, promo on Instagram. Basically, they, with an advertised post, they said, would you like to smell the new Invictus Platinum? Put your address and then I got a sample from them. Um, yeah, this is very interesting. It arrived very fast. So, I saw that on Parfumo and other websites this is not uh, perceived very well. You know how it is. First I should try it myself and then make my own opinion rather than just read. Because as you might know our minds are very easy to influence. That's why you have the influencers to influence the minds. And if you read or if you hear something about a product or a person or an event before meeting the person, before going to the event or having the product, you will have a preconceived opinion. And in, especially in perfumery, this is not very good because if you see that uh, some people say a perfume is not good, is not lasting, whatever, this gives you kind of the same impression without even testing it yourself. And then, yeah, so I will uh, spray now this Invictus Platinum, go through the notes with you and tell you how I think is this new flanker from Paco Rabanne. So I'm gonna spray now. Yeah, the tester is horrible. You need to spray basically the whole tester to feel something. The half is over. So yeah, the initial smell that I get from this sample is really nice. It is sweet and fresh. I know that Paco Rabanne launched Phantom in that kitschy robot, which was not perceived very well by the market, but it reminds me a bit of that smell. So from Phantom. So this is a smell that has been released on the market this year, 2022, marketed by Puig. So Paco Rabanne is also a brand which is owned by Puig, Spain. And you'll have here notes like grapefruit, absinthe, mint, lavender, cypress and patchouli. So from smelling this, I get kind of this feeling of a summer hit. You know, like when some bands, like some new bands or like a singer, in these modern times like with techno songs and so on is launching a very nice catchy song for the summer and then it goes away and you'll never hear again from that person or that band this perfume kind of uh, gives me the same impression so in here i don't think they have put a lot of thought or like uh, the brief was very complex to say i would like this and that most likely the request was give me something for the summer to have a bit of the freshness of the Invictus line but slightly tweaked to be to be able to be called differently so Invictus Platinum this does not occur to me as being a scent that you will remember if you will have someone uh, crossing by or like uh, that smells like this maybe you'll not even pay attention it's a nice pleasant sweet for the summer scent it has the sweetness of the lavender, it has a bit of mint, a bit of grapefruit. This is a, a scent in the lines of Bleu de Chanel, so like this blue, beautiful, summery smell. That one, of course, has more quality and substance into it. This one is just like a, let's try to cash the cow of Invictus a little more. This sample is not very powerful in, in terms of spraying, so that's why I think I don't have so much projection and the longevity is quite good but you need to put your nose very close to this paper so 
So my impression is that it's a nice summary release. It will not break any records, it will not be something that people will fight over getting a bottle like it was at some point with Ombre Nomad when it was sold out from Louis Vuitton and you could not get a bottle because you needed to wait until they make a new batch. So with Invictus Platinum, I don't think it will be the case. It's mainly for the younger crowd, so I would see this better for somebody who's between 15 years old to 20. So like, I guess this is also their market because you will have a perfume like this in a supermarket, in a perfumery. You will have this uh, younger man coming, testing them. Mm, smells nice, smells sweet, smells uh, fruity. Saying, oh, okay, in top notes, it's uh, fresh, it's... Uh, sweet so yeah it's a nice bottle and i don't know if it's also suitable to get it if you go to club clubbing or something because i don't think it performs quite well i think it's a nice release from paco Rabanne. it will be forgotten until autumn for sure i see this for the younger crowd but if you're older and you enjoy the smell of course nobody will comment or say anything against you wearing this smell if you're used with niche perfumery this will uh, not be something that you'll enjoy probably but yeah let's see seasons it's mainly for the summer or the warmer the warmer months and uh, yeah that's about it about the new flanker from Paco Rabanne I hope you enjoyed this short first impression about it please let me know if you have tried it or if you are curious to try this Paco Rabanne release and i hope to see you soon on the channel again thank you for watching bye bye